All right. So I wish I'm using an air link for my quest right now. Um, it should still be allowed to use this microphone. I'd love to be able to select the microphone so I can stand back and you can still hear me while I'm demoing this. Um, but if you remember in the earlier episode, um, it just didn't look right whenever we went into play mode. Our hands were still kind of twisted. Um, what was happening, and we'll show you here. Watch my character. I'm going to hit play. And I'll pause while it's playing. All right, so you missed it because I was paused, but notice now my player is like turned at an angle. And it's due to this HMD toe rotation thing. Um, this is kind of firing too soon. So um, we're going to... We're going to have it delay itself and see if that fixes it. So I'm just going to add a new state. And in this state, I'm just going to do a next frame event. And the event is just going to be finish. All right. There's all sorts of ways you can do this. Um, but this is just going to, all right, um, I don't know, do the rotation thing. <laughs> uh, and then this is just wait a frame. Okay, so now, hopefully, when I hit play, I'm just enabled. Yeah. Now, hopefully, when I hit play, it doesn't just start off rotated weird. All right. Ugh, it's still doing it. I didn't have that problem in my other project. So, it's already starting kind of slightly off rotated. And I don't know why that is. Um, let me spend some time debugging this and I'll get back to you. All right, I remembered what it was. Didn't take me very long and I finally remembered. So um, when I go look, if we remember right, what we were doing is we were getting the float delta angle between the camera and the foot. And um, that doesn't work because if we actually go down to, um, hold on, the toe end, right? If we go down to the toe end, it's already being rotated at 88. So we're getting a, a delta value from the beginning because the main camera is basically at zero. It actually, whenever I hit play, it was about nine degrees because I'm not perfectly straight, I guess. Um, but this is, it's going to create a huge delta angle here. So what we actually, sh what I should have done that I forgot is create an empty here. And let's just call this right toe tip. And so you see this one's rotation is zero. All right. Um, really, I could have just, I, you could have used any object. Um, probably could even use the XR origin, but uh, we're going to come down here and now I'm going to call this right toe, not call it, but select right toe tip. And now if I hit play, HMG, it's already, it's still enabled. We're still waiting next frame event because why not? It's not going to hurt anything. <clears throat> and boom. All right. So we're not pre-rotating too quickly. And so now my arm shouldn't look jacked up. All right, there we go. Hi. Okay, and then um, oh, knocked over camera, knocked over my uh, microphone. That was probably a loud noise for you. And so now, if I turn around, that didn't work, did it? Oh, I know why it didn't work. <laughs> when I was testing, I turned off my animator float. Um, so now, if I turn, it's still not working. Why not? Is it because it's, it looks like the, it looks like it's not running this action because it hit play because I enabled it during play. Let me stop and pause and all that jazz. <sighs> Sorry, I'm being stupid. So because I didn't have that enabled, I thought I had fixed it, but I didn't fix it. Notice my players rotated again for no dang reason. So I got to pause and figure out why, why it's not working like it should be. Okay. So I uh, apparently forgot something else. So it helps whenever you actually look at things from the local perspective. So I just switched to local. If you notice, my right toe tip uh, is not pointed straight. So uh, I just barely caught this by looking at my other project this was working in. And apparently I had manually rotated this to where um, it's Y is up. Nope, I wanted the Y up in its local space and it's Z forward in its local space. The world space ain't gonna make any difference now. Notice it's still a little off. <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's not really straight forward, but it's, it's fine. It, sh it should be, it should at least get the job done what we need now. Um, and again, you could also have just taken the player and this probably would have been more straightforward and just putting um, 
that wouldn't work though because i because the reason we can't put on the players because eventually i'm going to show you how we can rotate the player with the joystick which is really straightforward um and so that won't work because we need to make sure that the feet are moving with the head so now that i've done that and i go ahead and turn on the animator float again i haven't checked to make sure this works but i think it'll work now hit play we basically want to see the player not rotate we want to see our player right now be in the same spot if you notice i also took him off center just a little bit he's no longer at zero 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 and boom it works um because i was afraid that for some reason that was causing the issue that his global the player's global was at zero 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 we'll put him back um because we're getting world positions maybe it's being a bit weird because i was trying to figure out why the camera was like four degrees off zero um but then the foot was like 300 degrees off zero um, and it's just because the local rotation was not up and down. All right, so here we can see we're good now. So um, <clears throat> we're looking forward, we're saying hi, and now I can kick my microphone a few times <laughs> and I can rotate. And hopefully you're seeing my character rotate around. All right, so that way our joints don't get, our, yeah, are our joints still looking good? Yeah, we're still looking good. That way our, our arm joints don't get all completely twisted around. All right. So, um, how deep are we into this video? Um, six minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's be able to do, um, so I'm gonna do smooth rotation um, on our player and that's um, pretty, ah, I dropped my controller. That's pretty straightforward, so we're gonna do that next. All right, my headset's about to die, so we'll see if after we do this logic, if we can even test it. <laughs> All right, so we, we need to do now is we want to do just simple rotation. And again, you don't have to add this. If you're comfortable just using um, the stuff that comes with the XR samples, again, you can go to add XR component. Um, we have continuous move provider. Um, and there's also, if you search turn, there's a continuous turn provider or the snap turn provider. Now we're using the new input system. So um, I have it set for action based. Uh, that's what I would choose. And that'll just work. Um, and you'll be up and running in no time. Um, but since I want to make sure I have full control of everything, I am going to uh, set it up myself. So let's do our rotation. All right, so we're going to create a new FSM. Or if you're using C Sharp, we're going to create a new script. It's a rotation script. I mean, I guess technically you could put it all in the same thing, but I like keeping things separate. They're really easy to read down the road, see where stuff's busting down. I'm going to call this rotation. And we're going to be using player input again. All right, we're gonna use player input. We're gonna get a vector two because this is not going to be a move vector. Um, and then the vector two, and we have to get the vector two as well because if we go into our player input by just double clicking that, and we look at right hand locomotion turn, we can see the control type is vector two. So we need to make sure that at least with Playmaker, that we say that it's a player input get vector two. And so now I can do right hand move, uh, right hand turn, right? So there's right hand two turn and I just wanna store the X axis. All right, I'm just gonna save it as X because that's gonna be left and right on the joystick. And make sure I have the right hand selected and then we're just going to um, rotate. So I'm gonna search for the rotate action it's under the transform category and we're going to be rotating the owner because it's our player object and we're just going to rotate on the y angle with the x rotation from our controller and we are going to do this self and we're going to do it every frame um and that's probably it um i think that's all the logic we need to make that work so let's see if my headset's dead and let's hit uh let's hit play on this bad boy all right so we're in, uh, my rotation's jacked up again somehow. Um, so there I'm walking backwards, I'm walking forward. <laughs> the animation speed's not really perfect for the speed we're actually moving. Moonwalking, baby, that's what that is. And then uh, rotate right joystick and look, we can walk forward now, all right? So there we go, it's working. Cool beans. Um, it's still a little bit jacked up because my rotation is slightly off because I think I just need to recenter the headset. All right, let me actually get in the headset, refresh, reset view, pull the trigger, and I'm still like way off. That just happens with Link sometimes. Like my my XR origin is directly is directly left 
of my actual avatar. I'm just curious. If I look at my inspector, we're still 000 on the player. My avatar is slightly off. I don't even think it'll let me reset. What happens if I reset that? Hey, it did. <laughs> nice. All right. So cool. So now um, we can let's go ahead and let's go ahead and full screen the game window, so you can see what I'm seeing in the headset. All right. So there's my hands. Okay. Um. All right, walking forward, hold, turning left joystick, walking forward. We're a bit off a little bit of our legs now when I'm rotating. Um, so you'd have to dial in some stuff a bit. Um, Cause you can see my legs, probably wanna get a walk backward animation versus the walk forward one. Um, so we're rotating, um, but most of the time, it's, it's really hard to dial it in, but I'm not going to show you how to make it perfect because it's going to be different based on your situation. I'm also sitting down, so it's always going to be a little wonky, me sitting down tied to my computer here. But, uh, yeah, this is going to work for the most part. It's not going to be perfect. You'll probably have to, you'll find that things aren't working the exact same for you every time, just like I did with my two projects. This should at least get you going. Um, what do we want to do next? So... We're moving. What we'll do next is loading in. Yeah, in the next video, we'll load in custom avatars from the players. So um, this is kind of tough to do because one, you need to have an interface for a customer, customer, a, uh, a player to put in their uh, glib URL. Right, so um, their avatar URL is like a .glb, um, and that's really hard to input in VR. Um, what do you do? Give them an input field and then have them hand type the URL. That would be insane. Um, if you want to spend two hundred bucks, there's a plugin called Vuplex from the Asset Store that puts a web browser in the scene for you, and you can connect to ReadyPlayer.me that way and get the URL that way. Um, but I know most people probably watching this video, you don't want to drop 200 bucks in that plugin. Um, I'm going to be getting it eventually because I use Ready Player Me avatars a lot. Um, what I would probably do is have a way for, um, customers, customers, players to like have a mobile app or just create a web app that they can log into and put their glib URL and then on your actual VR game, have another login screen and, until they set up their glib URL through some other device, have like some default avatar they'll use. And then just have some instructions that say, hey, from another computer, from a web browser, go here, log in and put in your avatar URL. Um, so those are just the workarounds that I'll use. So in the next video, we'll, we'll try one of those workarounds and we'll see what it actually looks like loading um, a new avatar into this. So yeah, I think that's in this video. I'll catch you next time.